Good morning, the LSU Congress. We are here to present our research, which is the profit forecasting and temporal modeling of COVID-19 cases in the Philippines. I am Adrian Joshua Nunez with my partner, Mary Colleen Bautista. So for the overview of our paper, it consists of the usual parts, which is introduction, methodology, source and analysis, and lastly is the conclusion recommendation. For the first part of introduction, we have the background of the study. COVID-19 pandemic is caused by a virus known as SARS-CoV-2, which has rapidly spread by human-to-human -human interaction. It has affected more than 167 million and more than 3.46 million have died as reported by the CSSC at John Hopkins University. The WHO has declared COVID-19 transmission as a public health emergency as the case continues to rise globally. Our country has been struggling with the prevention of the surges in cases. According to a research by Amnesty International, the quarantine guidelines we have now is not effective in preventing the transmission of the disease. From 2,000 to 3,000 daily reported cases from the last quarter of 2022-2020 to form a second wave in mid-March that reached over 15,000 new cases in April. The highest daily positivity rate recorded is 25.2%, which is dated at April 2, 2021. Now, more than a year has passed, and yet still the positivity rate showed much higher results in the second wave as compared to the first one. For the statement of the problem, so far, never has our country been ready during the two surges in cases. According to Gula, during those these surges, our hospital has been reaching critical levels, which is more than 85% in COVID-19 bed occupancy. As a response to the problem, our research used three forecasting techniques. The first one is the simple exponential smoothing. The second one is the autoregressive integrated moving average, or ARIMA. And lastly, is the profit method. Compared to the other techniques described as a model, with interpretable parameters that can easily be modified intuitively. The profit method is a new forecasting method developed in 2017 by Sean J. Taylor and Ben Latham, both of which are a part of Facebook's research team. Our study to forecast COVID-19 cases in the Philippines using the profit ARIMA and CES. The performances of these forecasting methods were compared using root mean square error, or RMSE, and meet absolute, mean absolute percentage error, which is MAPE. Through this research, the most robust model generated is useful for prediction of future cases to assist the government and hospitals in preparing for the possible next surge in COVID-19 cases. <clears throat> so for the second part, it's the methodology. So, for, the, for our study, we use secondary data, which is COVID-19 data provided by OWID or Our World in Data. The data period of the data set is stated from March 15, 2020 until July 15, 2021, as shown in Table 1. This data set is then partitioned into two sets, 80% for the training set and 20% for the testing set. The data set includes the following variables, day and date, and daily cases. So for the splitting of the data into training and test set, the data, the data has a total of 488 time points. Since the division of the data is 80 to 20, we have a total of 390 time points for the tra training set and 98 time points for the test set for daily cases. The time series plot for the training and the test set can be seen in figure one. For the procedure, we used R Studio or R and Microsoft Excel to analyze the three methods, which is CES, ARIMA, and Profit method. In the case of ARIMA model building, it was first confirmed if the time series data was stationary. For Profit method, it was necessary to go through the steps one by one. So for the 
first step of the profit method, the study used the training set to create a data frame consisting of two columns, DS, which has the date, and column, and Y, which was the forecasting measurement that should be in numerical value. The second part is an object called M in our code was created for the profit class and there the data, the data frame was fitted into. Lastly, since the test has 98 time points, a future data frame with period of equal to 98 was created. The DS and Y head columns from the results were the only columns considered. That is because DS represented the date and Y hat was the column that contained the forecasted values used to compare with Y in the historical data frame to get the measure of errors. For the statistical measures for comparison of the model performance, in order to choose the most robust model, the data was split into two to make a training set, which is from March 15 until April 8, 2021, and the test set from April 19, 2021 until July 15, 2021, which was caused to validate each of the model performances. Forecasted values obtained from the three methods from the training set were used to compare to the values of the test set. To evaluate each of the model performances, the researchers used this metric root mean square error or RMSE, mean absolute percentage error, which is MAPE, and the Akaikis information criterion. The method with the lowest value of for RMSC and MAPE and the AIC is the most robust model of them all. Next, we discuss the results and analysis for the three methods. For the first method, which is simple exponential smoothing, uh, using the simple exponential smoothing method in R showed the best simple, both uh, showed the best smoothing model for daily cases. And summarizing the results showed that RMSE is equal to 766.8478 and a MAPE is that is equal to 30.10847. And applying the same model for the test set, the summary of the results showed the RMSE that is equal to 2817 point three seven nine. And the map that is equal to 46.84422. The time series plot for the training set, along with the forecasted values, can be seen in the figure two. Okay. Next. Um, next method is the autoregressive integrated moving averages or ARIMA. Uh, for the first part of ARIMA, we discussed the uh, exploratory data analysis. As we can see in figure one, it can be seen that the daily cases has an increasing trend suggesting non-stationarity. Therefore, logarithmic transformation was applied. Uh, but however, ADF test showed that the data was still non-stationary. So therefore, the next step to do was first differencing. And after first differencing, it showed the data showed that it was now stationary. Uh, the first difference time series plot can be seen in figure three. Next part for ARIMA, uh, building the ARIMA model in R using ACF and PACF. Upon mix and matching the significant lags, it was found that the best model for the daily cases is ARIMA 313. And upon summarizing the results, it showed that RMSE is equal to 715.6495 and a MAPE result of 30.21328, and an AIC result of 6,234.11. Applying the same model for the test set, some, the summary of the results showed an RMSE that is equal to 1,044.918, and a MAPE result of 14.64506. The time series plot for the training set, along with its forecasted values, can be seen in Figure 4. For the last method, which is the profit forecasting model, uh, we use the yearly and weekly seasonality. Uh, checking for the accuracy of the results for the daily cases, it can be seen that RMSE is equal to 663.874 and the MAPE result of 90.55279 for the training set and an RMSE of 
447.3837 and a MAPE result of 4.200445 for the test set. Our daily cases forecasted plot with the yearly and weekly seasonality can be seen in figure 5. Using the profit plot components, it can be observed that there is a steady upward trend throughout. Uh, as for the weekly graph, we can see that there is a spike in cases on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. We can assume here that the reason for this is because these are non-working days where people have the time to go out and get tested. For the yearly graph, uh, it shows that there is a clear spike in the middle of the year. Summarizing the results for the st statistical test gives us the following values after applying the model to the test data. Um, uh, for the RMSE and MAPE results of all three methods, we can see that the profit method, uh, the MAPE of the profit method uh, is 4.200445, which according to Bugar, Chick, and Radojic, uh, a MAPE score of 10 and below is considered as a highly accurate forecast. And therefore, we can conclude that our profit method has, is <clears throat> highly accurate. Out of all the methods, the profit forecasting model with consideration of yearly and weekly seasonality performed the best for daily cases, giving the lowest error measure. It can be implied that the reason for profit performing better than the other methods is because the method has easy to interpret parameters and these parameters can be modified to improve the model fit. From the results for daily cases using the profit method, we can see that modifying the seasonality component for daily cases showed a better model fit. This is because the historical data or the actual data showed signs of seasonality. For the last part of our paper, which is conclusion and recommendations, the procedure was in inspired by the work of Chor Churisha and Pal of 2020, wherein they used and compared the results of ARIMA, NAIVE, CES, and HALT's method to predict the future spread of the virus based on the data collected. In this research, the profit method was added as it was a fairly new forecasting met method de developed by Sean J. Taylor and Ben Latham. Based on the results of the study, the profit method performed the best for predicting future values for daily cases with the method having the lowest root mean square error and the lowest MAPE or mean absolute percentage error. From the results, an upward trend can be observed for daily cases. Therefore, we can advise or it, it can be advised to the government and hospitals to prepare as the number of cases will only keep growing as the time goes. However, there may be different factors as well that can affect the number of cases. For example, um, it could be that the number of individuals vaccinated, uh, fully vaccinated, or the future variants of the virus of the virus. Therefore, in the future, it is recommended to further study the spread of the virus and to consider the aforementioned examples in the study. That concludes our paper. Thank you.